The title for a blog post in your Squarespace website is designed to match the heading one font style that you've chosen using the site styles menu, but it doesn't have to. We can use just a little bit of custom code to make that blog post title unique, and that's exactly what you'll learn how to do in this video. I'm Becca Harpane from Inside the Square, and all the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below. But without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen and teach you exactly how to customize that blog post title to make it uniquely yours. Let's get started. In this tutorial, I will be sharing with you really cool codes that can create a gradient effect for the title, as well as an outline effect and a splice effect. Lots of fun stuff to explore. But before we get into these creative codes, let's talk about how we can customize this blog post title using the Site Styles menu. When you click on the Site Styles menu and select the Fonts option, you'll see headings, paragraphs, buttons, and more. But if you choose Assign Styles, this is where you'll find all kinds of cool options. Scrolling down here, past blog, basic grid, single column, all of these settings, you're going to see blog post. Here, we can click into the title and we can customize it. As you can see, it's designed to match the heading one style that we have here on our website. But if I choose this drop down and select custom, we can change the blog post title to any font family we want in the Squarespace font library, as well as all of these other settings. So clicking through here, let's go ahead and scroll through and choose a completely different font that we can use, like Alpha Slab 1. And now you'll notice the blog post title has changed, but it's a custom font not used by anything else on my website. After you've selected a font family, you can explore some of the other options here to change the weight of the font, the style, line height, letter spacing, all kinds of fun stuff. You can also change it to automatically be uppercase, lowercase, or capitalize each individual word in the blog post title automatically, no matter how you type it. Now, underneath that, we have the size option. It's designed to match the heading one font size, but we can choose a custom option here or select one of your other font styles. For this tutorial, I'll choose the custom option so we can increase the size and check out some of the cool CSS codes I'm about to share with you on larger characters. All right, one more time how we got there. Inside our main menu, what I want you to do is click on the font option and then scroll all the way down in this list until you see blog post. This is where you can click into the title and customize it. When it comes to the color of your blog post title, you'll need to hop into the colors menu and you can choose whatever is assigned as the color theme for that blog. In this case, it happens to be lightest one. I'll click on this and then if we scroll down here, all the way down to blog post, we'll see that we can change the blog post title right here. Click on this circle and select a different option from your color palette, or you can choose the custom option and grab any color code you want right here. Now this will change the color of the title for every single blog post inside this blog. Again, I clicked on this circle right here. You can choose one that's a custom color or select one from your color palette. Now that we've changed the basic stuff, let's get creative. I'll select save and exit, and we're going to add some custom code to our Squarespace website. Over here on the left-hand side of the screen, I want you to select Pages, then Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. All three of these codes are listed in the description below. What I'm gonna do is just remove a little character here so we can see them one at a time. There we go. This first one is a gradient effect. This is going to create a linear gradient that fades to the right, and we're gonna go from red to yellow. We're gonna make sure it's the text, and we're gonna hide whatever color we assigned using the Site Styles menu. Now we can adjust these colors to be hex color codes if you want to, or web safe color names, super duper customizable. And you can also change the direction. Instead of to right, maybe it's to left, or maybe you'd prefer a negative 15 degrees. You can get really creative with this linear gradient code to give yourself a gradient blog post title. All right, that's the first one, the gradient effect. I'll go ahead and disable that code and we'll take a look at the next one, which is the outline effect. This code right here creates outline text. This is a simple code known as the WebKit text stroke, and we can change the values and the colors here. One is going to be 1px, so quite thin. You can change it to five or even 35 if you want it to be super thick. That's way too thick, that's bigger than the characters. How about 10? There we go, super thick line. I think three will work well for this example here. And then after that, I've used a hex color code to make it a darker gray, but you can change this to a web safe color name or any color you want it to be. One of the most important parts of this code is color transparent. If we remove this, we're going to see the color that we've selected from the site styles menu. And then the stroke is added as an outline around the characters. So if you don't want to see that original color, add color transparent exclamation point important. 
All right, let's disable this code and take a look at the very last one, which is one of my favorites. This is the splice effect. And what we've done here is we added that outline. We made the letters transparent, but then we added a text shadow. So it's slightly offset. Now this here is the horizontal offset. If I change this to 10 PX, it'll pull the letters all the way over to the right. Maybe five is a better choice. There we go. Then this 3px here is actually the vertical offset. If I change that to 5, it'll scoot lower. We can make it 15. It'll be a lot lower than the outline. Lots of customization options there. This next value should stay at 0 for the splice effect, but we can change the value after that to match whatever color you want to see here on your site. Maybe we'll change it to this light shade of blue that I like to use, or we can use a web safe color name like the word yellow. Again, super duper customizable and a lot of fun that we can have with these blog post title using some creative code. All three of these will be in the description below labeled properly so you can copy and paste them into your own Squarespace website. All right, my friend, I think that's a good spot to call it for this tutorial video. Again, you'll find all of those codes underneath this video in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're inspired to make your own Squarespace website uniquely yours. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. Check out some of my related content linked below and subscribe for more. But most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.